Yeah. Mm. Hey, big stepper like big meats. Mm -hmm. I was taught to go and get it straight about the mud, little nigga. Murder, 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 keep my slugs, my nigga. I was taught to never show no love, my nigga. I was in hey guys, it's me again with Nova Lore. Um, today I'm bringing you a video of my Dare to Love soap in honor of Pride Month that begins tomorrow, June 2020. So here I am adding my lye into my oils um, and then I will begin to stick blend. So here I decided I wanted to add a little coconut milk powder into the batter. Um, I like to add some type of additive all the time. So um, it just makes your skin a little softer, makes the lather a little creamier um, when you add coconut milk. Here the coconut powder is almost fully dispersed into the batter. Um, I do hate that I put it in during the, um, after I poured the lye because it made me have to stick blend my batter a little more than I wanted to. Um, that means it came to trace a little more than I wanted to, especially since I'm working with six colors. You don't want the batter to be too thick when uh, working with six colors. You want it to be a very light trace um, when you pour the colors. OMG, do y'all see these beautiful colors? Most of these colors I got from Matt Micah's. I think the yellow I got from Brambleberry, um, but I did mix uh, the Micah's um, ahead of time with one teaspoon of mica into one tablespoon of olive oil. You can disperse it in any type of oil, canola, sunflower oil, whichever you prefer, but I love coca um, olive oil, so that's the one I use. I'm trying to disperse um, the batter into each color as evenly as possible so I can have an equal amount of each color. Okay, here I'm about to hand mix each color with the spatula, starting with the lightest color first. Here I can begin to see my batter is beginning to thicken up, but I still thought I had a little time, but little did I know I did not have much time left. Okay, I have mixed all the colors. Now I'm adding my fragrance oil, trying to disperse it as evenly as possible. And boy, was I about to be in for a treat. Okay, here I am finished mixing the fragrance into each section of the batter. Um, so now I will go ahead and get my mold so that I can try to get this in as quickly as possible. Um, as you may see or uh, at some point that my batter has gotten really thick, um, this is not what I wanted at all. I think the fragrance kind of sped it up even more after I added it in. Um, but here I am, I'm gonna try to work as quickly as possible. Uh, also the yellow kind of riced on me a little bit. I'm not sure why just that particular color did that, but basically here I'm just going with the flow. I'm putting the colors in um, in different places just so that it can be um, 
everywhere in the soap. Um, this is not how I plan to initially put it in, but hey, you just have to go with what you have and make it work. Now that I have some of the batter in, I'm having to uh, bang it down really hard so that um, there won't be any air spaces in the batter. And then I will go ahead and continue to add more color into the mold. Here I am making some texture tops, but of course I couldn't leave well enough alone. So I tried to continue to texture the top, which made some of the um, colors merge together, uh, which wasn't so pretty. So I saw that, hey, I need to go ahead and stop. So that's what I did.
now it is cut day here i am loosening up the silicone mold away from the soap so that i can easily remove the soap from the mold Ta-da! Look how pretty the soap turned out. Um, even though the batter was like a disaster, like it was very thick, the design that turned out was so beautiful. So that just lets you know that sometimes it may seem like a disaster, but it comes out to be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soap. So here I am about to cut this. I'm about to use my log splitter um, to split it. I have it set at two inches because that's how I um, package my soaps. I like the tall and skinny mode, so it is set at two inches. So I'm sliding it through here through the log splitter. Um, and once again, I did get that from Workshop Heritage. Um, I am beginning to love his um, molds and his his products, period. So, well, his or her or whoever owns the company. But look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Even though it looks like it may have been a disaster. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Okay, I have split my soap up. Um, the smaller loaf that you see there, I can do like little party favors, little samples, things like that with that. Or um, I can sell it at a discounted rate since they would be a little smaller um, when I cut them. Um, here I am, I have my soap cutter. This is a single soap cutter. I have it set at about, um, at about one and an eighth inch. Um, so here I am just cutting the soap. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Every cut has its own little unique design depending on what pieces of what colors were added to that section. So I think it looks very pretty and unique the way that it turned out. Right here, I'm just showing you where how I um, bevel my soaps. Um, I'm using just a regular um, peeler that I got with my um, pots and pans sets from Rachel Ray. So basically I bevel each side, the bottoms, and it just gives it a, a unique aesthetic um, to make it look very pretty um, whenever you sell the soap. So it takes like the little rugged edges that may be on there off. Um, and in that bowl, that is just some um, beveled pieces from a, a couple other soaps that I made. Since I wasn't um, doing that with all of my other soaps, I was just leaving the the edges on then um, it's not that much in there right now but I plan to once it gets full to make a like a everything soap and this is how I decided to cut the smaller ends they're like in maybe a one or two ounce stick um, if you need these you can do these for like party favors bridal showers things like that um, and they can have the their own special unique packaging you can also split them down the middle in case you want to make them smaller um, to accommodate more guests well this is the conclusion of this video i hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and share and be on the lookout for future videos